We recently had a chance to bring a camera to Huber's OSB manufacturing facility to see how their Advantech subfloor is made. In operation 24-7, the wood plant receives over 100 logging trucks per day, which queue up in a continuous line, waiting for the crane operator to unload their 30-ton pine payload and add it to the massive stack, which is left to dry for 7 to 10 days. From here, the logs enter the assembly line where a metal detector checks each piece and the rotary debarker strips off the bark, which is set aside to fuel the furnace used later in the process. With the bark removed, the stripped logs move along the conveyor belt to enter the facility where a giant cutting machine called a waferizer or strander will cut the logs into precise strands. The machine is shrouded for safety and requires a continuous supply of resharpened knives to keep up with production. Once cut, the strands move across the facility and are dropped into a giant furnace-fed dryer that removes any remaining moisture from the wood. At the next station, the wood strands are coated in a proprietary blend of resins, waxes, and binders before they're divided into one of several chutes that are located along the length of a giant conveyor belt. Each chute orients the strands so that they're perpendicular to the chute before and after it, building up a thick mat of opposing layers. The continuous mat is cut into 24-foot sections as it moves and is ready for the press. Each mat rolls into a slot inside the giant 400-degree press, which then compresses the stack of 8 to 10-inch thick wood strands to a finished thickness of 3 quarters of an inch, all within 40 seconds. On the way out of the press, the rough edges of each 8-foot by 24-foot mat are cut away. Then, the piping hot blanks move along the conveyor to be stacked for temporary storage as they cool in preparation for the next step. After cooling, each sheet runs through a wide belt sander that smooths both sides, prints panel information on one face, and then rips down the middle to create two 4-foot wide by 24-foot long pieces. Next, the 24-foot pieces are cross-cut to make three 8-foot lengths, resulting in the 4x8 panels we're used to seeing on the job site. Then the square edge 4x8 sheets pass through a machine that cuts a tongue on one side and a groove on the other. Finally, the Advantech logo and fastening pattern is printed on each face, and the panels move to be stacked 50 sheets high in preparation for packaging. Here, a robotic arm folds and staples cardboard protectors on the sides of each stack to protect it during shipment, and each stack is then strapped and forklifted away to join the other tens of thousands of panels from that day's work, all waiting for delivery to your local dealer.